Okay, let's take a look at the tibia. Okay, from an orientation standpoint, find a landmark you can identify and work from there. You need to identify if you're looking at a right or left tibia so you know if your landmarks are, are the medial or on the medial or the lateral aspect. Okay? So the proximal epiphysis of the tibia consists of your condyles. Nice, broad, flat, really un impossible to, uh, to get wrong when you're looking at this particular bone. When you go to the inferior epiphysis, you'll notice that you have one sticky down thing on the medial aspect and then you don't have anything corresponding on the lateral aspect. So I have my proximal and I have my distal. That's taken care of. The next thing I need to figure out is where is anterior and where is posterior. On the proximal third, proximal quarter even, of the tibia, on the ventral or anterior surface, you're going to see this rounded kind of sticky up projection. That little rounded sticky up projection is referred to as your tibial tuberosity. This is for the insertion of the four quadricep muscles. This actually has its own secondary ossification center and what you'll find is in kids, uh, uh, pre-teens and teens, when they start doing excessive running, um, they go from kind of uh, like a, a, a neighborhood type of sport to a junior varsity or varsity type of sport you'll find that many times the strain on the quadriceps will cause this tibial tuberosity to evolve just a little bit and it'll get kind of bigger and knobbier and real tender to the touch. They call that condition osgood schlatters disease. So now I've got my anterior aspect, I've got my superior proximal aspect, my distal aspect, now I'm good to go. Okay? So when I look at the inferior epiphysis, again I see this sticky down thing. That is referred to as the medial malleolus. So if I know that this is medial, and I know I'm looking at the anterior view, then lateral must be over here. I must be looking at a right tibia, okay? And it's just as easy as that. So landmarks, I've got my medial malleolus, and then I have where the lateral malleolus of the fibula is going to articulate. I have what we'd refer to as the fibular notch on the distal end. On the proximal end, I've got my tibial tuberosity, and then I have my medial condyle, I've got my lateral condyle, and then between them, you'll see I have this little sticky up appearance. We refer to that as your intercondylar eminence. And that's all we have on the tibia, okay?